You can use keyframes in SpeedGrade to animate effects and grading, that is, changing color and tonality over time. I'm going to show you two examples in this lesson. To follow along, start up SpeedGrade, click on Open Project, go to Working Files, Premiere Pro Projects, and go on down to SG Keyframes. Start that up. Click Open. And there we go. We're going to work on two clips here, this shoreline shot and this dining room shot there. Go back to the shoreline by pressing the Home key. Keyframes work differently in SpeedGrade than in any other program you've probably encountered. There are three main differences. First of all, all clips have a keyframe at the first frame by default. Secondly, when you move the playhead to a new location where you want to add a keyframe, you first have to add the keyframe and then make changes to the clip. And that's different than the way that you typically work inside Premiere Pro. Thirdly, if you want the properties in the newly applied keyframe to change gradually from the preceding keyframe, you need to click on the Add New Keyframe button twice. So I'm going to show you how this works. Let's move the play add in a little ways here, like so. And now I'm going to add a keyframe there by clicking on this Add Keyframe button there once. And now I'm going to click on it twice so that it goes gradually from here to there. They call it Dissolves here, but in Premiere Pro that would be called Interpolation. And now I'm going to make the changes. So I'm going to lift up the shadows a little bit like that. Lift the highlights way up. Bring them way up here because this is such an underexposed clip there. Maybe bring up the gamma a bit too. Warm up the highlights a little bit like that. Warm up the midtones a bit. And cool off the shadows a bit like that. And now that I've made those changes, I need to adjust things a bit more. Lift up the shadows a bit like that. And I think the highlights are fine. So we've made these changes over time there. Let's see how it works. I'm going to press the Home key, press the space bar, and watch that change over time. And that's a nice little interpolation, a nice little use of keyframes. Let's apply an effect here farther into the clip. But I can't just apply an effect there and have it change over time gradually. I need to first apply a keyframe. So I click on this once, click on it again to get the gradual change, and now I apply the effect. So I'll go down to the plus there, go up to, let's say, Copper Plate, apply that. And let's see how that works. Let's navigate to the previous keyframe by clicking that little button there. And let's play this by pressing the space bar. And it will gradually change to that new effect. Now, if I also want the clip to change while the effect changes, I'll go back to that keyframe by clicking that little left arrow there. And now I'll make some changes to the clip itself. So I go to the primary layer. Let's say I want to change the gamma on this pretty dramatically. So I'll drag that to the left so it changes quite dramatically. And now the combination of the new effect and that change to the tonality will show up. We'll go back to the previous keyframe by clicking on this, and both things will change over time. Essentially, you're using one keyframe to handle all the changes you make to this clip inside this layer stack there. All right, let's go a little bit farther forward in time here. I want to make some more changes here, so I add a keyframe first once, click it twice to get the interpolation. Let's bring the gamma back up again. Let's change the color of the effect, so I go to the copper plate effect there. I'm going to change the colors from copper to some other color, like purple, for example. And we'll make some changes over here as well. And now all this will happen over time as well. So I'll navigate back two keyframes. That will change over time like that. And we'll come back. Everything's changing together. And if I want things to start differently, I can go back to the very first keyframe by pressing the Home key. And since I'm on that keyframe, I can start even darker, for example. I can bring it down farther like that. And then that will be the new value of that keyframe there. That's how that works now. All right, let's go to this next clip just to kind of reiterate that process here. Obviously, this dining room color needs to be fixed, so I'm going to put a keyframe there first. Click it again to have it be interpolated. And now I'm going to deal with the color by dragging the temperature here toward the left, bringing it toward blue a bit. That takes care of things pretty quickly there. I think I need to bring down the shadows a bit. Maybe lift the highlights a little bit. Brighten the room up a bit with the gamma. And that takes care of that. I'm going to go back one notch here by clicking this little left triangle there. And now we'll see how that goes over time. And so using keyframes here inside SpeedGrade can be an effective tool, but just realize that there are some differences between the workflow that you've encountered in Premiere Pro and the workflow that you encounter here inside SpeedGrade. 